This is Roper. He's 17 months old and we are going to groom him because he's entered in a dog show and he didn't start releasing his puppy fuzz until recently. I keep getting the sun on the camera. So we're going to try to get a lot of this fuzz off and see if we can find the puppy under the hair. Of course he's grown a lot and his hair, he's not nearly as hairy as he was a month ago even because I've been stripping on him a little bit here and there every day. So now I need to get him ready. Okay, with Roper, he's just a 17 month old puppy and he, he still has a lot of sections where his hair, his undercoat hasn't, or his real body coat hasn't come in yet. So we have to do him a little bit differently than I showed you on Zeus, on the uh, Grizzle Dog. So what I have to do with him is brush the fuzz upwards and then hold his skin, just kind of roll his skin. Don't pinch it, just lightly roll it and then just lightly pluck out the dead hairs, the fuzz. And I will do that along his sides until I get down to here and then I will film it and as I go along and show you how I'll have to remedy that. Okay, you can also take a 30 blade and don't put it on your clipper. Just use it as a stripping tool. I have stripping knives and stuff, but I haven't used them in years. So, but you can use it like a stripping knife just by dragging it down lightly against the coat. And it'll pull some of that fuzz, but in his case, it's not really working all that well. It might just clean up some of the extra little fuzzies, though, that are along his side. but it's not going to work for the thick stuff. Probably depends on what kind of texture of coat you're working with as well. I'm getting a little bit though, you can see. So, in this area right here, he has so much hair on his legs still, that I just have to pluck just a little bit at a time, and step back and look, and make sure I'm not making any bald spots until I get it to the proper section where the hair is supposed to be growing and not be growing. So it'll take me a few minutes to get there. And once I get this part done and his underline cleaned up with the clippers, then I'll know better of how I'm going to deal with this schnauzer fluffy head. Okay, so I have been working on this area right here. I've got all this cleaned up now. A couple of little bald spots, but that should fill in in a couple weeks' time. Um, trying to work with this area here. He has still has a lot, although I plucked off about that much. He still has a lot in this area. And what I need to do is drag the thinning shears through it just a little bit. I don't want to do too much because he might look different when I get him ready for the show after a bath. But it still needs to be thinned out just a little bit. And puppies are a challenge because he's getting really antsy. So I just take my scissors inside of that and just do a little tiny snip. This area right here is giving me problems because it wants to stick out. I think this part still probably needs to go, but I don't want to make a great big indent and then have all this puff. And I'm not taking his elbows off because I like that. Pretty white hair. Roper? So I think with, when you get to a bind like this and you're not too sure, it's probably better to just stop for a while and then come back to it at another time, a little bit later, and you'll have a different perspective on it. So still have to do his knees and that will all be hand stripped off and then this area of most likely once I get this cleaned up under here then I'll know what to do here. <laughs> 